Ooh, God, go, go. Well, hello there, and welcome to another Warcraft 3 audio commentary. Today, guys, you're going to be introduced to this game by me, Very Creepy Dave. It's the scariest month of the year, and I know you guys are just going to love this intro. Because everyone loves Very Creepy Dave. But I'm not going to say much about this game, because I don't know much about No Warcraft. But... So I'm going to turn it over to Purby, but I, I'm i very thankful to be given this chance to give myself some outreach to you guys. So thanks for watching. Hi! So <clears throat> that was very creepy, Dave, uh, in introducing the game. He was supposed to introduce the players, but he didn't because he's, I don't know, he's, like, <laughs> he's got his own mind. Uh, so <laughs> let's introduce the players in the upper... Right part of the map, we have the blue undead spawning in. He is WFZ. And he's obviously really, really good. Down in the lower left, the map obviously being tearing a stand. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised. We have the teal orc. It's Enfy. I thought he was human. Uh, so maybe that's wrong down there, but that's okay. Uh, minor surprise. I guess I'll fix the title for that. I don't know if he plays orc the entire series it's a best of three it's played for the have fun all-stars cup which is obviously pretty great i'm not gonna say anything but uh big ups to Infi recently i'm not gonna spoil things here <laughs> i'm sorry hopefully you've all uh not been spoiled by that or you, or you have no idea what i'm talking about but anyway um so look at this voodoo lounge going down for Infi. all good have a bit of a something going on with the the pause who knows who knows death knight coming out it's gonna be a ted fiends play coming from wf zid zed Mr. Zeds. Uh, I think we could call him Mr. Zeds because I think that's a pretty fantastic name, Mr. Zed. If I wasn't Pure B, I would be Mr. Zed. Uh, and then I would have to sue WFC for infringing on my copyright because I would I copyright all of my names, actually. I also trademark them, so. And uh, and I sue anyone who uh, tries to steal them. I, I was going to go for McDonald's, but I, uh, it was already taken. So. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Anyway, so there was a creep gone down. Death Knight coming over here. He's going to go for the harass. Harassment is a common thing if you're going to do Ted Fiends. There, you don't have to. You can go for the creeps uh, because you can kill some creeps. Not very quickly, but with, you know, skeleton stuff and all that. You can do it. The problem is that you're not going to kill fast, and there's always that chance the Blade Master comes out and says, Oh, I'm going to creep jack you. And then, because you're killing things so slowly... Uh, you just get creep jacked, and then you lose your death knight, and then game's over, and then uh, you're like, man, why did I go creep? I mean, I don't know how often that really happens to anyone else, but... Whew. Uh, anyway, so down here, you can see he's going to continue this creeping out. He wants to creep this out. It's doing. It's a good thing to slow your opponent down from creeping, which is what we just saw happen right there. Always, always a wonderful thing. And got this rogue, level 3. He's going to probably get dropped as well. He's got that blade master. It's getting pretty low, but it's not 70 life. As long as he keeps it above 70 life, he should be all right. Um... I'm gonna actually manage to see the stoil, the the, the stoil, which is the uh, the steel coil, on the creep right there. So that's gonna give some a good XP over here to the Death Knight, and he's gonna be able to go ahead and cast a coil onto the Blade Master, wasting a charge of healing self. So essentially, that's 75 mana to waste 33 gold from the Orc player. It's mm, debatable. It's not a bad thing, but it's not really. It buys you not much time at all. I mean, it gets a good a little bit of time, but I don't know. Um. There's, I'm sure he has a reason for doing that. It could set you up a little bit later in the game for perhaps when he comes over here. He's not going to have quite as much life. I don't know how much that's going to do because it's going to be almost full anyway. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. I guess just because, you know what, if you can waste one of those healing salves, you should go ahead and do that because that means less harass, which that makes a good amount of sense. Uh, the Blade Master, I don't think he was able to steal the creep there. No, he was not, but he did steal the item, which is a Gloves of Haste which is a fantastic item for the Blade Master to steal. If he's going to steal an item, may as well be that, and a Tome of Agility. You know, just because, why not? If you're a Blade Master, you may as well go for the high-profile stuff. Could have been a Claws of Attack, I guess, but the Gloves of Haste also still pretty good. Um, not really the best item, but always, it's always good to have Deeps, deeps items on the Blades, the Deep Sea blades -y. Gonna see the tank coming out of Infi. He's very close to Stronghold at this point, and WFZ also very close to Stronghold. You can see both players very close to, str to Stronghold. Yes, the undead um, lagging slightly behind getting that sh Stronghold tech, because that's what it is. It's gonna be a Stronghold magically. 
sucks. The Blade Master has crept quite a bit. As you can see, he's very close to level 3. He's not level 3, but he's very close to level 3. Uh, and the Death Knight is close to level 2. Naturally, one's slightly better than the other. Uh, but he should be able to pick off this Grunt right here. There's really going to be probably see a Coil. If he Coils it, it's dead. It's dead. Level 2 gets picked up. Picks, gets picked up. He's going to go for the Blade Master as well, just to force it out of the fight. And then hopefully go for this round on the Grunts. Nope, not going to happen. But he does force this guy out. Which means that only one of those level 3s is going to go to the Orc. And the other level 3 as well as level 5. And the all-important item is going to go to the Undead player. Unless he gets creep jacked here. Uh, getting creep jacked on the creep that you jacked would be something. Uh, but no, he's going to get this coil steal on that. Or is it even a steal at that point? I don't know. But he, he gets it. And the Blade Master is not really able to do much. But he can force this away because that Death Knight is kind of low on both life and mana. So no more coils coming out for just a bit. So he's got to be careful not to lose anything. Uh, you're going to see those 90 damage crits. Not bad. Not bad. But they're so low because he got the Gloves of Haste. But he gets lots of crits. So that's... It's decent. Skeletons coming down to the peasant line. This always is good to do it. Just it delays everything. Um, obviously, it lets you know too a couple things. One, the orc is going for the fast tech, going straight up to tier three, which means he's going to get himself a nice big old orb of lightning pretty soon. It also means he has the option. Doesn't necessarily have to do it, but he has the option to go for three heroes if he wants to. Uh, and since he's already got a high level blade master, he definitely lets you know he's going to be trying to harass you for a little bit. Not that you really need to know that he's attacking to know that, because he already knew he was level 3. And once the Blade Master is level 3, he doesn't really need to creep anymore. He just wants to basically stop you from creeping uh, by doing this, like right-clicking your Death Knight or right-clicking a Fiend. And that basically can stop you from doing anything at all, because he just does so much damage on that Blade Master, you really just can't fight it. Uh, not with just a 4 Fiends and a Death Knight, it's not really enough. Maybe if the Death Knight was level 3 and had full mana and didn't care to waste all of his mana on the Blade Master that he probably wouldn't kill... Um, yeah, I don't know. But that's why you have a slaughterhouse, so you can actually regenerate and kind of sort of deal with that. Shadowhunter out as the second hero for Mr. Enfy. Still no idea if he's going to go for the third, the third hero or not yet, but he is gearing up for a potential third. As you can see, he doesn't have a Spirit Lodge right now, so he's going to have slightly better economy to support a third hero. Um, and really a third hero. I think a Torn Chieftain is always a good idea if you're going tier 3 personally on most on most maps I won't say always on most maps I think this is an okay map to do it on because you can get the level 3 on the shadow hunter and then later on you can bring out the Torn Chieftain or you can do it early on however you want to do it uh, and that can also be pretty helpful as well just because you have stomp and this guy can be fairly high level by the time the Torn Chieftain comes out anyway Lich is out as the second hero for WFC. He also has gone straight to Black Citadel. Naturally, when you go straight to Black Citadel, you are giving up map control during the tech. And that's kind of what we saw. He didn't really do much. He was able to pick up level 3 on the Death Knight, which is useful. Uh, and he's going to come in here for the Creep Jack. Because now he can really fight the Liches out. And he has no problem just going ahead and casting Frost Armor. There's no Orb of Lightning out just yet for the Orc player. Although he is, in fact, tier 3. So he has the option to get that soon. Which means he'll be able to deal with that Frost Armor pretty soon. Pretty soon. Pretty shortly. Certainly shortly. Orb of Corruption right there. I'm trying to keep my mouse steady, but it's not really working. <laughs> I always try to mouse over items when I'm talking about them so people can read the description if they want to. But, uh, yeah. Mr. Mr. Undead Player. I'm sorry, Mr. O yeah, Mr. Orc here. Mr. Orc is creeping. I'm not going to get level 3 on that Shadow Hunter anytime soon because he did get creep jacked uh, and now he's just creeping full on with everything that he has because he feels like time is of the essence and oh, is he ever so right. Dark Ranger being picked up as the third hero for the undead using wonderful skeleton block right here to try to kill this Code Beast. Going to put the coil on it and he will go down. Torn Chieftain going to walk up and get a decent stun here. Got the Death Knight and the Lich as well as a Fiend, but kind of had to go a little deep to do it and now he is going to take a lot of damage uh, kind of as a punishment. Granted, one healing salve will heal that up, but healing salves are not infinite, and they do cost 33 gold each time. So it's kind of if it's rough to do it uh, repeatedly. Does he have money for the Orb of Lightning right now? He doesn't even have money for the Orb of Lightning, so he can't really fight just yet. Uh, he needs the Orb of Lightning. I'm going to go ahead and try to do some damage onto that statue just before this fight starts. 
Going to see an immediate frost shield be put up on it. Frost shield, frost armor put up on it. And here comes a pretty big push from WFZ. Uh, will we be seeing still no mana for, or no money for the orb of lightning? I don't think. Doesn't look like there is. He's going to have the speed scroll. He's going to immediately try to do some stuff. He's trying to kill the destroyer, it looks like, but this is not looking good for Envy. Uh, this is a pretty powerful push coming out of the undead. And unless he can go ahead and get maybe like some kind of forcing back power here, he's going to have a bit of an issue because these units. Uh, without the, he doesn't have enough raiders to really hold anything in place, and he was going for that destroyer, which he did not kill. The blade master is also actually going to go down because uh, he has no items, and there's not really a lot, a lot that shadow hunter is going to do while he's silenced. Dark ranger also not going to die, and the torn chieftain is in a bit of trouble as well. So everything for Enfi is kind of not great, and he's going to go ahead and call a good game just because things aren't going well, uh, and that's fair enough. So that's game number one from this best of three for the half fun all stars cup. And let's go ahead and take a very short break, and we'll come back for game number two. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the break time. What? Sure. <laughs>